Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Let's Play of Vigilante 8 on the Ninja Stalker. So I was watching some videos online, um, let's see, I was watching a lot of, uh, Dashy's, Dashy's games videos, so if anyone's seen, uh, that individual Dashy, uh, and his games, pretty hilarious individual, I recommend going, wa going to his channel, watch a bunch of his videos, um, what other videos was I watching, I mean, that's a shout out to him, because he's a real funny guy, there were some other videos, though, I'm just trying to think of the order I want to go in. It's not that I forgot, it's just there's an order. There's top fives, top five unknowns, there's uh, Danger Dolan videos I was watching. Hmm. But the one that I really want to talk about, to give you a heads up of what I might be doing um, for my channel, is uh, Arma 3 with the... Uh, zombie mods there's there was a trench warfare zombie mod uh, game that I was watching on YouTube and if you guys want to know what I'm talking about just go on YouTube and type in uh, Arma 3 trench warfare zombies mod or something like that you'll see the one it'll be the one that sounds pretty much exactly like that and it'll be a, a soldier uh, on the ground fighting all these zombies and waves coming in it is so cool. There's like a city in the distance, a building drops, you got like these zombies running across the field, some of them are jumping, and you're just supposed to hold out as long as you can, you know? So it's almost like a, a Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, I guess. Uh, I've only ever played uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and maybe 2, but I don't know if I played with the zombies mod. Yeah, I did play with the zombies mod, but I didn't, I didn't play after that. The one that, that was my favorite was the first Black Ops, and... The one with the zombies in it, where you get to play as uh, uh, Kennedy, uh, McNamara, Nixon, and uh, Fidel Castro. That was my favorite, and it's sort of like that. You know, you just hold out for as long as you can, basically. It is so awesome. And then I was watching other videos. Somebody posted up uh, like a, a cops versus zombies video. And this this individual's got like a bunch of them, and it's just so awesome i was like oh my god i have got to get arma 3 i've got to get the zombies mod solely for that like i'm not even gonna play arma 3 for arma 3 i'm gonna play arma 3 for the freaking uh zombies mod which is hilarious in thinking that because i did the same thing with arma 2 i have arma 2 on steam in my uh in my steam library i and i and you guys are probably wondering if some of you uh or were like, hey, you know, I've seen a majority of your videos on your channel. You don't have an Arma 2 game or mods. Well, what's up with that? You know, you got a Arma Cold War Assault. You have Arma Armed Assault. Where's the Arma 2? Well, I'm doing a whole lot of videos, and a bunch of them, they're on hiatus, or they're on pause right now. And the Arma 2 is a big thing there, too. I've only really purchased the game just for the freaking DayZ mod. And it was back in the day where DayZ, the DayZ mod was not a standalone. You had to go through uh, Steam, find the right channels, and it was usually in the Russian servers or something. And then you had to go online and trust people to enjoy the game. But the game was the gameplay was shit because of people basically. The game was fun. Arm, uh, excuse me, DayZ was fun. Um, it would have been more fun had people been more uh, friendly, but there is no friendly person really online or at least the places I go to play and I've been playing on different servers I'll jump to one I get screwed over I jump to another one I go there I get like uh, ran over and then my shit stolen and somebody's teabagging me and and off they go and I'm like alright next server and I just keep going and keep going and you're probably thinking oh that's because you were on the Russian server no 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 there was some there was American Spanish Russians you name it there's everybody who can purchase the game and play the game they were there and they all of them just just you can't trust people you know 
And most people can probably argue with that and say, oh, well, you know, um, the game is supposed to be realistic, so in reality people would do this. I sure the hope fuck not. If, if zombies was a real thing, is a real thing, would be a real thing, because there's a possibility. You never know what the government or governments are doing. You never know what, besides governments, because let's say governments are good in this case, because, you know, let's just say, right? I'm not saying that they're not good, but there's questionable things and events in the past. But let's just say people, scientists that aren't even related to the government, do does something in conjunction with zombies, then you have that, right? People would uh, act a certain way accordingly. Yeah, well, I would hope that people would try and think to themselves, you know, it's best to be cooperative than to screw everyone over. Because that's what was going on every time I played DayZ, and I absolutely hated it. To the point where it was like, this game is not fun. This game can't be fun, because as soon as I go in and I'm over here trying to collect stuff, find stuff, I got fuckers who are trying to kill me and zombies, or just me. You got people who are specifically not even caring about zombies, only looking for your ass just to kill you and get points that way, or your stuff that way, you know? You got, uh, you got people who just really want to watch the world burn, you know? You can't enjoy a game. You got people, especially, who are there to uh, hoard stuff. So they'll go to they'll go to their favorite cities, their favorite places, and look for their special backpacks, their special ammo, their special guns, and they'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth, collecting until they have abundant supply. And then they go and repair these helicopters and vehicles that are like that's like, oh shit, where'd you get that? They're not gonna tell you. They don't want to tell you. Why? Because they don't want you to have that kind of fun that they're having. So then they go and make sure they get these things and prevent you from trying to get them. You know, it just, it just wasn't fun. I was like, you know what, fuck this. So I got Arma 2 just sitting in my library and I'm not even using it. I've probably played a few hours of original game just to test it out. But, um, there's a big problem with that. Now, what I ended up doing was I went online and I said, you know what, in the future, I'll do an Arma 2 Let's Play, um... I'll see about doing a, a zombie let's play on that, maybe, because the point that I'm coming up to now is I didn't really like Arma 2. I think Arma Armed Assault was a lot better than Arma 2 in all honesty. So when I saw Arma 3 and I saw the graphics for it, I saw like the way it was played, especially the zombies pack and the zombies mod and all that, I was like, oh, ooh, ooh, mm, gotta get that. So... I would say be prepared in the future, not the near future, but in the future on my channel for anyone who's interested of any and all the viewers that I have who are coming back, if you are coming back, if there's new people, hey, here's a heads up here on Vigilante 8, uh, even though this has nothing to do with Vigilante 8, but trust me, I will get to this game. Um, there's a heads up on my channel, I might be doing an Arma 3 in the uh, future, not the near future, but the future. Um, how far in the future? Well, do not hold your breath because uh, I did mention I will be joining the military and that's happening here pretty damn soon. Like, I'm talking damn soon, all right? Uh, and with the way things mm, could, I don't want to say might, but could go with me because it's, uh, it's sort of a flip of a coin that it's a 50-50. I mean, that's a negative way for me to look at it because I've been told that things are looking good for me, but it, I'm always very cautious. I'm always thinking of the negatives, but not. I don't, I'm not, you know, a negative Nancy or a pessimistic individual. I'm optimistic, so I got to understand, hey, there are good things to this, there are bad things to this. So, how long would it be for something like this? Oh, maybe, uh, I mean, I don't want to bring your hopes down and all and all that shit, but uh, a year or two. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, <laughs> It'll be some time, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for that, but this is something real special to me in my life that I really, really want to do ever since I was a kid, which is basically join the military. And in this case, join the army. And my father did it. His father did it. I'm going to hopefully be doing it here soon. i got to make it pass BC, BCT or basic training. i got to make it uh, through AIT and then all the other stuff I want to do. And that'll take some time. But definitely what I really want to do uh, is get Arma 3 and get that mod going with it. Now, it's not going to be on this computer, this this computer that I'm on, because this is my father's. I'm obviously not going to live here forever, even though my age says, like, what the hell are you still doing there? Um, 
I basically help take care of my pops because he's, I mentioned before in my other channels, he's 100% disabled, he's unemployable, uh, retired out of the military, 24 years of service, maybe even a little more in all honesty, but that, that man went through hell and still wanted to go back to help uh, work for, for his country, for the government, for the U.S. Army, because he's just like that. He didn't give two shits that he was 100% disabled. He's like, fuck it, you can either give me a desk job or you can get, make me a, a drill sergeant again. I'll, I'll be out there monitoring, watching, and yelling, hollering orders and stuff, and they'll get the job done. I've done it before. I mean, this guy was a drill sergeant for like four years or more, and then part of the cadre for four years or more. I mean, that's usually drill sergeants don't go out for that long they go for a year maybe a year and a half maybe even two years at most this guy was was extended involuntarily extended by executive order of the Ronald Reagan administration during the 80s because they wanted soldiers to be trained and he did his job doing that so once he became hurt and disabled and they were like yo we can't even issue you anything higher than 100% because that's how bad he was hurt. He was over 100%. And usually with the way the military works and the VA and all that, they pay by the percentage. Well, he was like at 150% or some un some unholy number. And they're like, yo, it, this is impossible to deal with the pay and all. We can only give you 100%, but at least you'll have 100%. He was like, hey, whatever, but I'd really like to stay in the military, do my job and all that. They're like, oh shit, this guy's a patriot or some shit. But they were like, uh, you know how the military is. If they're going to keep you in if you, and you've done a lot of time, they would promote you. They were going to do that for him, but because he was hurt, they're like, you know, it's best bet for us to give the promotion to somebody else who is capable of doing that promotion than he is. So he was pissed off about that. Um, had he had it worked his way, he'd be in. He'd still be in the army right now. He'd probably be a sergeant major. In all honesty, uh, but anyways, for me, uh, I'll be joining the military here pretty soon. Hopefully, things go my way. Um, and I don't mean that like, oh, I, I I want things to go my way and this that that. No, it's just there's there's a thing that I was shooting for. And I hope it comes to fruition, you know. Um, with that being said, when I have time in the military, as I've mentioned before, I would like to continue my Let's Plays, provided that I have free time. Because to me, when, I'm, when it gets to that point, my priority will always be military. You know, so if all of a sudden some of you guys end up subscribing and liking my videos, or even just regular viewers who aren't subscribed but they like my videos... And you guys are like, yo, this guy's channel, he's not posting up a lot of videos and all. You can understand there are other YouTubers doing the same thing. They got important shit going on in their life, you know. They got important stuff going on. It's going to take some time for them to post the videos. Same's going to be with me, especially in the military. And I'm telling you this in advance, you would have to understand. But I would like to, I'm telling you that any free time I get, I would like to continue doing videos, provided there's nothing else because priority then would be military then it'll be personal and all that uh, and one of the things I will work on Arma 3 with that zombies mod because the one I saw that was so amazing was uh, that video that had uh, the trench warfare that'll be like a fun solo thing if anything uh, but the one that really caught my eye was where it was cops versus zombies. And there was these guys online. There are a group of guys. They all dressed up like uh, cops because it's part of one of the mods where it's like the LEO, the law enforcement something. <laughs> I forgot what the, the O was. But it was so cool. They were all dressed up like sheriff officers and all that. They had gas masks. They had uh, EMS, EMT. They had choppers. And then they had people meet uh, starting in the game and then certain ones will be cops certain ones will be uh, civilians certain ones will be infected and all that and they'll come over to the uh, to the place that they were told to go because there was a, an emergency broadcast system you guys have heard that right the real the in reality you guys know what an emergency broadcast system right is right you know what I'm talking about it's the shit that you hear in real life that you're like oh is some is some real shit gonna happen and then all of a sudden it's like this is a test and you're like ah fuck or at least that's how I am. <laughs> I mean, I know that's kind of fucked up for me to say to you, and you're like, damn, this guy wants wants some bad shit to happen? You know what I'm talking about. You get hyped whenever you hear that sound. Um, but, of course, in reality, if that were to really happen, you'd be like, oh, shit, we're, we're in it now. Um, in the game, somewhere in the beginning when you start, it'll be something like... Uh, 
Oh, God, what was it? It was like an uh, emergency broadcast system uh, report. The something Zeta virus or some shit has been uh, spread from this location. Everyone's warned to stay indoors. Uh, or no, not stay indoors. Like Everyone's warned to uh, make it over to this checkpoint. Officers, uh, EMS, EMT is going to be on standby. And then the officers have their own channel, and they're talking to each other, and everyone's selling each other right. You guys be at the gates. You guys be ready on standby. You guys stay over here. This will be our headquarters. You guys check everyone at the gates when they come in. Make sure they have uh, gas masks. If they don't, have EMS and EMT check them out and all that other stuff. And it was so cool. Everything was so organized, and there was, like, random uh, chance that some of the civilians would be infected, you know? Some of the civilians uh, weren't infected, but they'll go crazy because they're played by players, and the players want to make it in because they're worried, oh, shit, I'm going to get it if I'm not in the safe zone. So then some people will start acting up, which it would be with the, with the video, you know, which is fine. And... Um, you know, these guys are checking them, and then all of a sudden, one place will get swarmed all of a sudden. Zombies would be in the area, people are fighting back, and then uh, the radio goes off like, everyone go go to the new checkpoint, go to the new safe zone, and this, that, that, hurry, and this, that, that. I was like, oh man, this is fucking tight. The graphics look good. Um, zombies, they're, anytime they attack someone, if they go down, there's a chance that they'll turn into zombies and infected, and this, that, that. It was just so awesome. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I want to do a Let's Play on this. Of course, you know me, I don't like playing online with people because I don't trust people. So I would probably do a, uh, a solo landline version where it's just me and the AI and see how that goes. Should things go well, I'll probably start inviting some of you, uh, some of you viewers and subscribers to join me in a game like that and, and check it out and see how it goes, you know, because if you guys go out of your way to try and be a viewer and a subscriber tells me that you guys like me in some sort of way, you like my content, like my gameplay, you're trustable, you know, but should things go wrong, well, it's part of the game, I suppose, there, you can't ever always protect yourself in a special bubble, you know, and that's understandable with me, so anyways, uh, there's that, um, let's go ahead and get back into, uh, Vigilante 8, we're moving on, the Coyotes team, uh, who do we have? Forgot that's what he looks like. Jesus. Anyways, uh, we have Boogie and his 76 Leprechaun. Boogie has below average speed, below average health, but above average attack. So. Whoa! Let's move to the groove. Let's give him a try. What time is it? 7:29. Shit. Uh, we gotta we gotta try and do this, ladies and gentlemen. Jailbird Boogie was strutting his stuff in Phoenix when his old pal Sid called. There's a new job to do, but watch out for the vigilantes, he said. Vigilantes? Who's that? Well, some new group. You apparently just got out of jail and stuff. Somebody should have told him Disco died a while ago. Destroy radio towers. We can do that.
destroy that tower. Guy. Okay, so apparently he's a uh, he's a bit of a uh, shorty. It's probably why he was wearing them high, them high ass uh, boots or whatever. All right, let's go to the farms. Let's see what we got to destroy here. Hmm. Ouch. These VGs are no fun, man. Boogie is full of complaints. So next, Sid is sending him to California to blow up some barns. Let's hope the wimp can handle it. All right. Feeling ten feet tall, tough guy. Okay. All right, uh, Casino City, Nevada. Nevada. Come on, the boogeyman needs a break. Uh, supposedly there is a disco dance event in Casino City. Yee. Boogie's been anxious to show off his latest moves, so get funky. Uh, destroy the wedding chapel, and it looks like that. Right. That's no shit. Ah, here it is.
ceiling, ten feet tall, tough guy. Right. Next mission, the Hoover Dive. Sid is flaming over Boogie's lack of discipline. No more dancing around. Boogie better take out the vigilante gambler John Torque, or else Sid will char him to the bone. Oops. Visitor's Center, so we gotta destroy that place.
feeling ten feet tall. Tough guy. Alright. I think he has like a dream or something about this guy. Yep. So, anyways, there is that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though at the beginning part of the video I spent talking about uh, Arma 2 and 3 and all that, and then, uh, like, a future update of uh, what would be happening. Uh, you managed to survive through all that. Uh, thanks, and, uh, you know, stay tuned for more videos and stuff in the meantime. Uh, um... I probably will post up a last video if an event will happen soon that should happen soon that I hope happens soon uh, the last video that I'll post up I'll make a, you know a, not a farewell but I'll, I'll make a, an announcement saying oh yeah by the way this this is this video this is what's happening this is coming up uh, this and that, this is what's going to happen, you know, stuff like that, you know, basically, uh, an update, if you will, uh, so, for now, here's Visual on the 8, I hope you guys enjoyed this mission, we will try and continue on with the other videos, um, finishing up with this video as well, or, uh, the Let's Play for Visual on T8, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and you guys have yourselves a great day, alright?